Well, um, before Carl Gell, actually in 2009, um, I was living in Istanbul and I first met Lambda Istanbul, uh, one of the other oldest LGBT organization uh, based in Istanbul. And um, actually, I wanted an equal life, just I wanted to be myself. I wanted to speak openly about my sexuality, my gender identity, and many other stuff. I wanted to just find someone who is like me. But uh, most of all, I wanted to tell a story about myself. Because uh, I haven't seen any stories that are similar to mine, uh, not in my family, uh, not in the media, not in the school, not in the streets. Uh, I was seeing uh, some horrible stories about LGBTI people, like uh, saying that uh, it is a perversion, it is a sin, it is an illness. And that wasn't my story. And I wanted to tell my story. So uh, in 2009, when I was in college, I uh, first entered uh, Lambda Istanbul and I remember that day I was really excited because um, to see someone who shares the same similar experiences with me which was a big thing for me and uh, in, in the following years I always uh, wanted to, to just continue uh, telling a story about myself and um, after I decided to become a journalist, uh, I wanted to tell the stories of other LGBTI people uh, with their own words, without manipulating, without uh, just uh, changing that story or uh, making it a smear campaign. So uh, personally, uh, the activism, uh, I, I don't like the word activism too. I, I, I am a storyteller. I want to tell, I want to continue my, tell my stories and the stories of others. Uh, LGBTI people and um, it was a big moment uh, to going there and saying I'm queer and uh, and saying it loudly it was a huge moment for me and uh, whenever even now uh, I feel uh, sad or depressed or um, in a way cornered down I remember my excitement uh, in those days and it is uh, funny that when I uh, after I entered uh, Lambda Islam, everything was so fast because it was like I was waiting some um, thing to just uh, be myself. And it was really fast and it was really helpful for me. And after that, like this is my fifth year in Chaos and after many other LGBT organizations, uh, I started uh, working in uh, Chaos. And uh, it was on a personal level important for me too because like in high school, uh, I was living in a not so much big city, I, I Bursa. Uh, it was in the like it is in the southern part of uh, Marmara region. And um, I remember I found a mega journal, Karl Sias journals, and uh, uh, in their cover there was a very famous Turkish uh, singer. Uh, and uh, I remember getting it into my hand and looking it. I I read all of them, and uh, it was the first time I see that. Uh, there are LGBTI people talking about themselves and uh, telling their stories. And uh, it was like for a high school student, uh, it was a very empowering moment. And uh, after I read that, I couldn't take it to the uh, home with me because uh, my family could not learn about me. It may cause a problem. And I remember leaving it uh, in the park and going to home and just thinking about the journal for uh, the following day. So um, it is very meaningful for me now to uh, be a part of this collective. Well, uh, first, I think I have learned to just respect myself and um, just build uh, my self-respect and self-esteem because uh, this society was teaching me uh, to just ashamed of myself, to uh, feel uh, bad about my uh, sexual life, to hide it, to be someone who is living in the shadows. Um, and LGBTI women uh, taught me to uh, just uh, build a self-esteem. And uh, apart from self-esteem, it taught me to just actually love myself, love my body, uh, love my feelings, understand it. And um, to just be a person uh, that can uh, get like, like feel prideful of uh, 
its own existence. So uh, it affected also that uh, personal life too. Like in uh, high school or many other things, I was a very shy person. I was um, afraid of everything. And uh, I was uh, in a very close So then I was unhappy. Like in a nutshell, I was sad and depressed. But now with LGBTI uh, movement, uh, I learned to be happy and that I deserve happy. Uh, to be happy in in that sense. This this was the main thing that I owe to the LGBTI movement, and um, to just taught me uh, to uh, be happy and love myself. I am hopeful from the future, apart from like all the bad things I said, because uh, uh, we know that uh, the governments come and go, uh, the institutions change, uh, even the geography is changing drastically, and uh, but. The so LGBTI reality is there, and uh, as a movement, it has come out of the closet, and it is uh, there uh, as a visible fact. And um, in uh, like uh, the, from the history, we learned that um, like the, even uh, the government or the society they had to face uh, this reality in some time. This is a like necessity, and. Uh, after that uh, facing, I believe um, as a society, uh, we will uh, continue building a more uh, equal uh, space for uh, everyone uh, else. So I'm hopeful for from the future, because uh, this kind of bans, uh, they, they can ban uh, events, but they cannot ban me uh, or any other LGBTI person to exist. Like, uh, it is not possible. In every generation, uh, there will be uh, this um, gender identity and sexual orientation uh, diversity, and it, it would become a fact uh, uh, to, uh, to just live and nourish and uh, be a part of uh, this society. So, in the recent years, I, I believe that we will see uh, more equal and free days for LGBTI people.